all right so in this video uh, i will show you guys the difference uh, all or all the differences between the 22105 and 22105s the old one and the new one so uh, as you can see 22105 is bigger taller it has the taller ventilation fins on top of the case the bell and the uh, 22105s has the fins shorter shortened quite fairly maybe maybe like half maybe even less and uh, as i mentioned in my unboxing video it has a hollow shaft uh, i need to fix this a little bit because it's not uh, fully hollow as you can see I can only put the wrench like this deep so it's not a fully hollow shaft it's a hollow uh, up to this depth and then there is a solid material in it but it of course does help to make it uh, way make it way less and make it lighter. Uh, maybe the most important thing is the arc, the the different magnets. Uh, the ones in two two one zero five are uh, wider, but flat, and the ones in two two one zero. 5s are less wide but are arced and uh, also the gap between them and the rotor uh, stator seems to be a little bit smaller thanks to thanks to that arc arced design okay uh, from this point of view we can also see the clip retaining the small bushing and uh, shaft uh, in here so in order to pull this one apart we would need to take out the clip which often uh, leads to losing it and breaking it and, and so on and so on and there is also this small brass bushing that also likes to get lost uh, this is much easier on the newer one. We only have one screw. I think it's like one one and a half millimeter uh, Allen wrench that can be used for that. And uh, the the bell will get apart from the motor from the from the stutter uh, easily. So that's about it. Okay, let's compare. Let's compare the weight. So to compare the weight, uh, I'm going to use my trusted scales. Uh, we can see here's the old one. It has a little bit shorter leads. Let's see if it will make any difference. So we have 29.3 grams versus the new one which is 29.5 almost mm, but considering the longer leads I would say they weigh exactly the same it's kind of a surprise maybe uh, but I, I think that this uh, shaft here on uh, the, the top of the bell is not uh, part of the shaft the shaft inside is smaller and thus it is also weaker I think it's three millimeters inside well, while this one is a steel shaft that goes all the way to the bottom to here and uh, also the there must be some different uh, be bearings used I believe probably stronger ones but also bigger and heavier ones so what Emax did was to what Emax did to make it uh, as light as before 
uh, is that they shorted the bell as I showed you before but it's much stronger and it's also much more powerful thanks to the arc magnets and uh, also what they did they included the light uh, light aluminium nut which weighs a half gram uh, and before there was this old this steel nut and it weighed, weighed almost four times the weight of this new aluminium nut which is really where, where the difference is uh, also the old let's say, let's say the new, the new uh, screws the smaller screws weigh about 2.15 grams while the older ones were like 2.6 so another almost half a gram so altogether altogether we have Thirty two point one six grams with the new one, and the old one was thirty three point so considering five, uh, four times uh, the difference on the quad, uh, it's uh, I don't know almost uh, eight or nine grams uh, less. So the motor itself really weighs very similarly as before, but uh, they compensate compensated the weight with uh, lighter hardware which uh, is not maybe something really revolutionary but it does help of course so thank you Max for including these lighter nuts and screws in the new package thank you very much for watching bye